Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Israel first expressed interest in the F-4 in 1965, but the US was unwilling to provide them at the time. However, due to the embargo imposed by France after the Israeli preemptive strike during the 1967 Six-Day War, the US government reconsidered and decided to offer the Israelis the aircraft. The first aircraft delivered were the F-4Es, provided under the Peace Echo program, authorized on the 7th of January 1968 by President Lyndon Johnson and supported by Senator Robert F. Kennedy. About 220 F-4Es and RF-4Es were delivered to Israel between 1969 and 1976 under U.S. aid programs. The Yom Kippur War started with Egyptian and Syrian airstrikes on Israel. During the opening phase, a pair of Phantoms managed to shoot down seven Egyptian aircraft, and others shot down five Mi-8s carrying assault troops over the Sinai Desert. On the second day of the war, the IDF launched attacks with F-4Es and A-4 Skyhawks, but the enemy air defenses and MiGs shot down six Phantoms and 30 A-4 Skyhawks. The new SA-6 Gainful surface-to-air missile system and radar-guided ZSU-34 Shilka self-propelled anti-aircraft guns were much more effective than the old SA-2 guidelines. By the middle of October, 37 Phantoms had been lost in combat and another six were damaged beyond repair. U.S. President Richard Nixon authorized the delivery of 36 ex-U.S. Air Force F-4s under Operation Nickel Grass. From the United States Air Force 4th and 401st Tactical Fighter Wings, these aircraft were flown directly to Israel. At least one F-4E flew in combat still bearing a U.S. tail code, while others stayed painted in United States Air Force camouflage patterns. The F-4 Phantom has achieved legendary status under Israeli colors, with Israeli Phantoms having suffered at least 55 combat losses, but had accounted for 116 claimed aerial victories. Alright guys, so we're here in an Israeli Phantom here today. We have a couple of Phantoms, well, there's four Phantoms off in front of us here. Uh, we're over the Sinai map, and off in front of us is the Suez Canal. And so there's going to be a lot of Egyptian opposition in the area, a lot of AAA, a lot of SA-2s, SA-6s, all that kind of, SA-3s, you know, you name it, they're all there. Let me see if I can get a formation going on this one F-4 here. It looks like the formation leader. Just going to go ahead and form up on this guy. Then we can look cool heading in. Such a beautiful aircraft, the F-4 Phantom. This is the VSN F-4, by the way, not to be confused with the Heat Blur F-4 that has not been released yet. Uh, hoping to have that come out soon, I hope. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's been quite a wait, and I think we're all very excited to have that out here soon. Uh, here we go, forming up on this F-4. A nice and tight formation on... Oh! Well, he just fired a Sparrow missile, okay. We'll give him some room. I didn't realize he was... <laughs> I, I forgot we were in a combat environment here, <laughs> and there's MiGs on the other side. I was so focused on formation flying off of him. Um, I'm gonna actually break away from that from the uh, that formation of F4s. There was four of them over there, and in front of me there's something flying and from a silhouette side silhouette that looks like a Mirage. So that would be uh, an Israeli Mirage three, and we should be encountering some Egyptian MiG 21s operating somewhere around the canal here as you can see a lot of combat operations hop happening off in the distance there and I'm gonna try to come in so the reason I offset so much to the left I'm gonna try to flank in behind them if there's like a massive furball happening up in front of me I don't want to be in the furball I want to just slash through it right and kill targets of opportunity where possible um, it's difficult to ID targets, you know, silhouettes, and you gotta, you know, I like to do that just to be 100% certain that the guy I'm killing is definitely an enemy. Uh, this guy right in front of me should be a MiG-21. There he goes. MiG-21 indeed. Yep, there we go. 
And then here's the problem though, when you rip into the furball like this, now you have to fix the geometry in order to get up behind him. That guy is now down low, so I use a little bit of vertical to try to slot him behind him. And he should be down here somewhere. I lost visual. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I lost him in the terrain clutter there. Another one of the difficulties of this era of fighting, you know, it felt like the aircraft wasn't doing everything for the pilot, kind of like it is today with the 5th gens. Not everything, but you know, quite a lot is being done by the aircraft. Um, in this era, it was, it really did come down to the pilot's ability, what the pilot could achieve. Uh, possibly got a MiG-21 off in the distance here. Down low, what is that? Uh, MiG-21 down low, yep. That is for sure a MiG-21 right there. Might be the same guy actually, I'm not gonna lose visual on him again. I'm gonna try not to anyway. We're in a two circle with him now, he's... There he is, got him, right there. I lost him for a second there, I'm not gonna lie. It's so hard to maintain visual. Lots of triple A. Oh, he's got a Fox 2 off. That's tracking. Oh, he hit. I believe that's an Israeli Mirage. Okay, that guy just scored a kill on a Mirage, and I'm gonna hit him with a Fox 1 here. Finally got a lock. And that missile is tracking... Splash 1, got him. Alright. So he paid for that with his life. And I'm now exiting the AO from here. And we'll come back around later maybe and see if we can get anybody else. At the end of the day, the Phantom is a fighter bomber, and you know you could definitely make a case that it's an interceptor. Almost hit the ground there. <laughs> She's a big girl, this thing. A very heavy, a brick, and I'm trying to fly uh, treetop level. This is where the Sams are going to be least effective because we're going to be doing a bomb strike here. Above me, we have uh, those are Israeli A4s, A4 Skyhawks. So, and there's another one there shooting the Shrike that theoretically should suppress the SAMs and let me in there to hit my targets, ideally. So C being suppression of enemy air defenses, uh, as long as they're suppressed and the radars are off, they can't hit me. That's, you know, the Shrikes are looking for uh, radiation emissions to hit. So they can either leave their SA-2s and SA-6 radars on and try to target me or, and, you know, eat the Shrike because they're on and they're emitting a radiation source. Or they can turn them off, which is fine for me, it lets me get in there and do my thing. As long as I'm not being shot up by SAMs, I can focus on delivering these bombs. The airfield is right up here. I'm going to pop up. There's going to be, uh, I would imagine, a tremendous amount of uh, AAA. You see the airfield right up ahead there. Reduce altitude just a little bit. Offset left. Slightly to the south here. Lots of AAA coming in. There's like a little parking area. I'm gonna try to hit that. Hopefully there's some aircraft there. We're gonna pop up here. Again, the SAMs are suppressed. That's why I'm not being shot at. They're either off or dead. Either one works for me. 
And the AAA is really my main problem. And here we go, we're setting up the approach now. Turning into the target, slightly obscured by smoke, but I should be alright. There you go, we're doing a south to north run now. Right on that parking lot, here we go. Those look like they were fairly accurate bombs. Close enough for me. I'm gonna reduce altitude. We gotta jettison our tanks and see if we can find somebody to kill now. That was close though. Almost got hit by a lot of AAA there. There we go. A couple of flares out here. And there should be some... I'm just checking the rear to make sure there's no MiG-21 following me as I peel away from that location. Although I don't think they saw me uh, come in because I took a pretty wide angle. And I believe there were some mirages in the area that were engaging the MiGs. And the A4 suppressed the SAMs. So that was actually a pretty... Nice little operation we just ran there, delivered those bombs on target, and I'm pretty happy with that result. What is that up high? Is that a MiG-21? No, that's a Mirage. That's an Israeli Mirage up high. Down low, that is a MiG-21. Yep, that's a 21 crossing to my rear. I'm going vertical. We're going to fight this guy. Here we go. Okay, he's definitely maneuvering in relation to me. And there's another one. I'm gonna stay on my guy for now. He went through the clouds and that's not good. I'm gonna lose him up here, am I not? Nothing on my six that I can see, but I definitely lost that MiG. I lost him in the clouds. That was a nice move. <laughs> I'm very lucky that MiG. I'm gonna go ahead and try to extend out of here to regain some uh, situational awareness. Although there's a lot of stuff happening, so I'm actually gonna turn around instead of extending. And I'm gonna see if I can pick out a target here. There's a guy climbing. That looks like a MiG-21. Yes, that's a MiG-21. And if you look at my rear view mirror, you'll see a missile that was just fired at me flares out. And my Fox 1 is tracking. Splash 1, got him. Splash 1, MiG-21. And there was a guy on my 6, luckily his Fox 2 missed. It's way too chaotic, so I'm just gonna drop my nose and we're gonna fly out of here as fast as possible. I don't know what's going on. There's MiGs, like a hundred MiGs over top. I'm extending and we're gonna run out. We're gonna run away from here. Bravely run away. Live to fight another day. I'll be back. We did score one MiG-21 kill, so that's not bad. Whole lot of AAA over here. And I think I see a MiG-21 off in the distance there. The radar is not always as reliable as I'm really used to. 
you know you're used to the f-15 radar <laughs> the f-14 radar and this old f-4 not really the best avionics in comparison but i mean for the time very good right which kind of puts things in perspective for you how much like a decade or two really changes things that guy just died nice i was out raiding him i was about to kill him but someone else took that kill That's always nice. I love to chase a guy, only to have him killed by that, probably that Israeli Mirage right there. <laughs> That's alright, good kill. There's a MiG-21 up high here. Give me a lock, come on, give me a lock here. Come on man, give me a lock. The PLM mode is uh, unable to pick this guy up for some reason. Oh, he's the perfect kill. Of course he can't get me a lock right now. This is like the greatest Fox one shot. It's perfect. He's barely maneuvering. I can't get a lock. Come on. Now he sees me now. Fox one launch. Doesn't track. He starts maneuvering. Mirage just flew right over top. And this guy is now maneuvering away from me. I'm going to try to get some separation, so I peeled off his six. There he is down low, I still got visual. Maybe he thinks I left. Kind of did like a small high yo-yo, just to put a little bit more separation between me and him, give my missiles an opportunity to possibly track. Looks like somebody just took a missile shot at him. My Fox 2 missed, although I swear I had tone. And look at this. Oh, we're so close. Just can't quite get the nose on him there. And that's we're on the uh, Israeli side at this point. So that's actually a friendly AAA shooting at him, not at me. But at this distance, it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> They're gonna, they might hit me as much as they might hit him. That's Tone, Fox 2, that didn't track again. This MiG is upsetting me. There's a separation, Fox 2. That missile's tracking. Oh, it just missed them. Oh man, it just missed them. Is this the luckiest MiG of all time? PLM mode, Fox 1. He's one mile out. Oh, that thing's tracking. It actually sees him. That Sparrow got him. Wow. Wow, that Sparrow really worked for it. Splash 1, MiG-21. I've been chasing this guy for like 20 minutes. That's it for me. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> Before I get shot down, too. And you can see why every country that ever owned the Phantom loved this thing. This thing is a beast, man. Absolute legend of an aircraft. The F-4.